uh, out here, or also you can continue um, uh, discussing uh, on IRC. So I see two questions coming in already on the pad. So the first question is, how did you draw the uh, under braces and over braces? Sorry, Jeff, you're muted on big blue button. I'm, I'm sorry, for some reason, I'm seeing everything twice. I'm hearing everything twice. So it's it's about with about a five second delay, it's strange. Probably my screen turned on. Oh, you're right. Thank you so much. I, I the the MPV is showing the 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 big blue button. <laughs> okay, sorry everyone. Okay, now I'm I'm together now. Um, let's see. How did I draw the over braces and under braces? LaTeX. <laughs> that is a uh, that's a an, a. Uh, um, yeah, and, and uh, a, a uh, SVG, I think, produced by LaTeX through uh, um, a separate file. I tried to do like a LaTeX code block and um, didn't get around to it. Also, like the, the code to produce it in TixEd was like really, really long, so I didn't put it in the notes. Cool. The next question is, uh, you've got a nice sounding keyboard. What kind is it? I'm so sorry. Uh, it is a uh, an ErgoDox uh, split keyboard for for my wrists. <laughs> sorry about the noise. Awesome. Yeah, no worries. I mean, I like to hear it. We like to hear it. I think a lot of us do. So, <laughs> <laughs> do we have anything on IRC? Nice. Now? Let's see. Someone's asking for ligatures. Um, do you have any questions, Ben? Charles? I see a bunch on the path that I can read for now. Um, oh, yeah, please do. Sure. So next question is, do you find that the invasive, quote unquote, through formatting interferes with navigation? Yes, it does. That is true. Um, Let me see. Yeah, it's it's weird. Uh, the the good news is though. Oh, oh, you know what? I the first thing I did, my first attempt at this, I actually made all of the incoming text invisible and just replaced it with my own text, and that was actually a lot worse. Um, the more of the input that is removed or made invisible, the harder the navigation becomes. So the fact that now I'm just inserting line breaks and spaces uh, makes it a lot easier. And I can still search and like when I get to the, the destination of the search, I'm still in proper normal text. Um, so it got a little better by changing my strategy a bit, but it's still a little bit of a problem. Let's see. I'll go look at the Etherpad. Uh, where is it? Cool. I can read the questions from Etherpad if you'd like me to. Um, and then if at any point you want to yeah, take the questions from it. IRC, then feel free to do that as well. I found it. Can you show us the key bindings of your minor map for editing overlays? Um, uh, it, well, it, it's a, I have a minor mode key map for um, increasing or decreasing the, the level of uh, of detail and the the key bindings are like uh, I, don't, I can't remember what it is that the uh the um if you go and you look at the source on github you you can see it there i forgot what i bound them to but something that i'm allowed to do uh you know they have restrictions on on what key bindings you can make in minor modes and i carefully follow the direction, but I don't remember what it was. It's like control C P or something like that, or yeah, sorry. Um, 
your examples were with C++, if you experiment with any other languages, um, I haven't, I guess uh, this is just a perennial uh, pain point for C++ programmers. So um, that's kind of why my, and I am one, and I guess that's why my focus was there. You probably have to rewrite some of the parsers um, to use something else. Would it be possible to include overlays in the source file itself? Include overlays in the source file itself. I actually don't understand this question. In the source file itself, there are language modes that do this. Uh, no, I, I'm not certain I understand that question. Maybe, maybe you could edit it a little bit more. Overlays in the source file. Um, what are your plans for TCP in the future? Um, you know, it's a little, it's a little fragile. Um, so it might be nice to, to, to investigate, like, I think you can get the compiler to output error messages in different formats, which might be more parsable or more, the parsing might be more maintainable. That might be an interesting thing to investigate. And the other thing is, um, I have a, just one way of reformatting the output where everything on the same level is vertically aligned. But I think some people might want to make more use of the horizontal space on the screen and, and take the sort of sibling parts of the type and line them up you know, straight across um, and take up a little bit less vertical space. Um, enriched mode. I don't know what enriched mode is. It's interesting. Oh, what's my repository link? Let me get that then. I don't know how to format this properly, but it's um, it's Jeff Troll slash T Spew. Yeah, it's it's on GitHub. So, uh, something like that. Uh, let's see. This looks like the Etherpad. It looks like all the Etherpad questions. Uh, we have one here from Charles. Can overlays work as hypertext so you can link an error message back to the source? Yeah, actually, that's that's done by default in compilation mode. That's one of the features you get, uh, which has been around for literally decades. Um, oh, yeah. Is it already there? Yes, it's already there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do we have anything on IRC? Uh, let me see. OK, looks like it seems like we've run out of questions. Is that true? Yeah, it seems so. It seems so, although we still have um, a couple more minutes, like maybe three, four minutes on the stream. So yeah. And then, of course, uh, once the stream does move on to the next talk, folks are welcome to uh, join Jeff here on Big Blue Button if Jeff still has like a few a few more minutes to like just chat here or ask questions here. That works as well. Yeah, if anyone's excited about the tool. Um, the, are the, uh, the notes are available online, right? I uploaded an org file that, that was my talk, and I actually included some references. Uh, uh, let me see. And, like at the end, there's some links and stuff like that. Uh, Whenever you see like a underlined thing in my presentation, it's like I was kind of thinking people would have access to the actual presentation itself so they could go and see what it was I was linking to some PDF somewhere. How annoying yeah. is this for yeah, so. compilers? It's annoying, Ben. Uh, it's uh, I basically have separate parsers <laughs> for Clang and GCC, and I'm not supporting MSVC at the moment. So yeah, that's that's real. I do worry about about its fragility, about the way I'm kind of parsing these error messages, which are idiosyncratic. <laughs> oh yeah, great. Thank you, Amin. That's uh good. Uh, I should just follow that link, I guess. Well, Cheers. Yeah, it's um 
so that you have to like scroll down a little bit um, underneath the video embedding itself. There's timestamps, and then below the timestamps, I see a bunch of links, um, uh, including one that says download.org. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what that is. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Yeah. You can also see like all of my hacks to org present are in there as well. I followed the system crafters uh, thing and uh, made a bunch of, of my own modifications. Uh, org present has this problem where like every slide is a sorry, every heading is a slide, which I don't like. I kind of want hierarchy, you know. Um, oh no, sorry. Every level one heading is a slide, and I kind of want hierarchy among the slides, you know. Um, and I had to sort of invent it in that system myself through navigation. Mm. Well, it looks like things have quieted down. Shall we call it? Cool. Uh, yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, thanks again for the great talk, Jeff, and also to the, to yeah to the audience for questions and discussions. People are welcome to stay here on BBB if Jeff has time to continue the discussions and ask any questions they might have. Otherwise, yeah, we can wrap it. Sure. Thank you so much, and I I love this conference. I've been a happy attendee since like 2015 or something. So, yeah, it's great. Awesome. Thank you for your work. Thank you. Cheers. It's, uh, I mean, in large part, thanks to awesome people like you who give these amazing talks. So thank you as well.